Hi guys and welcome to another movie talk. Now guys, we're into some superhero territory here. We're going back to the 1980s to have a look at that series of Batman movies. So let's go back to 1989 sir. When the original Batman was released. It was directed of course by Tim Burton. And stars Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. Oh, okay. And don't you just love it when there's no description. But basically, it's the story of Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, the Cape Crusader, as he goes around Gotham City fighting crime. As inspired to after he watches his parents get murdered as a child. Well, there aren't that many flashbacks to those times in this particular version. But we know that is how his origins start. So what do I think of the original Batman by Tim Burton? Well... Tim Burton's a great director, brilliant as a matter of fact, top-notch, top-notch film. Now we jump ahead to 1992 when Tim Burton returned to the seat, uh, the, returned to the director's chair, to direct Batman Returns. Now Michael Keaton reprises his role as Batman in the film, and we also say hi to Danny DeVito, as the Penguin, and Michelle Pfeiffer, yes, now, there is a synopsis to this film on the back, and here it is, Gotham City faces two monstrous criminal menaces, the bizarre sinister Penguin, played by Danny DeVito, and the slinky mysterious Catwoman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer. Can Batman, obviously as I said before, it's Michael Keaton, battle two formidable foes at once, especially when one wants to be mayor and the other is romantically attracted to Gotham's hero? Like the Academy Award winning 1989 original Batman Returns, it's directed by the movie making wizard Tim Burton. And like the first blockbuster, it's a dazzling adventure that leaves you breathless. I agree, so I give it another 10, like from the first film. I didn't, I forgot to give the, the rating, didn't I? Sorry. Now, this is where they start to get silly. Released in 1995, say hello to Batman Forever. Now directed... By Joel Schumacher, a not a very good choice, and starring Tommy Lee Jones, Val Kilmer, and Jim Carrey. Here is the synopsis. Riddle me this, riddle me that, you'll find adventure on the wings of a bat. Brace for excitement as Val Kilmer, Batman, Tommy Lee Jones, Two-Face, and Jim Carrey, the Riddler, Nicole Kidman, Dr. Chase Meridian, and Chris O'Donnell, Robin, star in the third spectacular film in the Warner Brothers Batman series. Joel Schumacher, the client, directs and Tim Burton co-produces this thrill ride of a movie that thunders along on Batmobile, Batwing, Batboat, Batsub and bold heroics. Hang on! Hmm. As I said before, this is where the film starts to take down uh, a trip down the silly path, the series. 
No longer is Tim Burton the director. No longer is Michael Keaton playing Batman. No. Instead, Batman is played by Val Kilmer. Joe Schumacher directs. It takes a childish leap from what it once was. So, it's okay at best. I'll give it a six. And this is where it gets really daft. Batman and Robin. And there's another change of directors for this one, I have least reason to believe. Take a look and listen to this synopsis. Chills and thrills. Will Gotham City be put on ice? George Clooney is Batman. As the Dark Knight battles his greatest threat yet. Cold-hearted Mr. Freeze. Played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Venomous Poison Ivy. That's Uma Thurman. Has more than Gotham City to protect. The youthful eagerness of crime-fighting comrades Robin, played by Chris O'Donnell, and Batgirl, played by Alicia Silverstone, puts them frequently in harm's way. New, very special effects include a wild, a wild sky surfing sequence and Freeze's outrageous ice-blasting arsenal. It's state-of-the-art excitement from our Bat family to yours. State-of-the-art excitement? New very special effects? Well, this was 1997. It might have been new for the time. <laughs> But no, come on. State of the art excitement. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. This, my friends, in my opinion, is the worst film in the original Batman series. That's right, I said it, and all the Mr. Freeze dialogue is, is ice-related puns that we have all heard but a million times before. <laughs> Not funny. So, what rating do I give this? A big fat two. <laughs> so, uh... It doesn't say who directs it. That's probably because they didn't want him to be ridiculed for directing a shit shocker of a movie. And uh, that's more reviews of these films, guys. <laughs> One in the long line of films I personally did not like. As usual, guys, I'll encourage you to watch these films and let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, have a good time watching movies. <laughs>